These are clues from civilizations sometimes centuries old. How people saw their world, what they found amusing, how they prayed. Treasures of the British Library. The collection includes a copy of every book, journal, newspaper, and magazine published in print in the UK since 1662. And now that collection extends to the digital space as well. We want to be able to paint this really rich and diverse picture of life in the UK today. And to do that, you have to be able to collect e-books, you have to be able to collect blogs and websites and social media. I mean, they're an absolutely critical part of our cultural and intellectual heritage. It promises to be one of the most comprehensive digital archives in the world, stored on four secure servers. Starting to archive the whole of the UK web space. I mean, this is fantastic. We're talking about 4.8 million websites, a billion web pages of content. This is the first time that, that this has ever been done in the UK. So it's a fully comprehensive web scale project. And this is what it sounds like and this is what it looks like. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. Getting the law changed to allow the library to sweep the internet for blogs, tweets, and pages wasn't easy. In fact, it took 10 years. During that time, there was the London bombing in 2005, the financial crisis in 2008, and the UK election in 2010. Historic events that the library's archivists say have fallen into a digital black hole. Online content lost forever. Well, this digital material changes over time, websites get taken down. Um, the average life of a website is, we estimate, only 75 days. So as I say, this material disappears incredibly quickly. About a year from now, we'll be able to take a look at the archives right here at the British Library. It'll be in the form of a digital snapshot of the Internet at a point in time so that someone centuries from now will be able to see what life was like in 2013. Erin McLaughlin, CNN, London.